So you're thinking of moving to Las Vegas, more specifically Summerlin? Then you're gonna to wanna to stick around because in this video, we're gonna be taking you through Summerlin on the map. That way you can get a good idea and the orientation of where it is in proximity to Las Vegas, the airport, and other local hotspots. And also if you checked out our other video on the full Summerlin vlog, this will help kind of put a little of this into context. So you can always check that one out after this one as well. And we're gonna get into it right now. If you're new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad about living in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas like Summerlin, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the very first to know about the current market here in Las Vegas. Hi, my name is Mark Pepe and the team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Las Vegas. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. As a real estate professional here, it doesn't matter whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Vegas. So let's get into it. Let's jump into my computer and take a look at Summerlin. So here we are taking a look at Summerlin. Uh, and as you can see, the community is located along the Western Rim of the Las Vegas Valley over here. And it takes a good one, a third of, of the city up um, or of the valley up. So it's, it's, a, it's a good chunk um, here on the, on the west side. So, you know, the Las Vegas Valley as a whole is not really that large. It's about 25 miles from east to west, um, this over here, and then you get about 30 miles from north to south. So wherever you're at in Las Vegas Valley to get one from one end of town to the next, you're only really about at 25 to 35, maybe if there's a little bit of traffic, a minute drive um, across town. So. Um, for, for a big ma major metropolitan area with 3 million people, close to 3 million people, um, it really is not, not a bad town to get around in and get from one place to the next. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here and show you a little bit of um, a little a wider lens here of the Las Vegas Valley. So this land outside and around the brown you see outside of around the, the Las Vegas Valley is, is land owned by the Bureau of Land Management, which is BLM. Uh, and it owns, uh, again, a, a large vast of Southern Nevada. And as the valley continues to expand, um, BLM will have to release some additional um, land to be able to continue to expand. But um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview to see how, again, how dense, you know, the Las Vegas Valley really is. So let's talk about the freeway system, the freeways that we have here in, uh, in the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, the first one and the largest one uh, that kind of almost circles the entire valley is the 215 um, freeway. And I'm going to show you here where it starts. It starts up here north, uh, up here in North Las Vegas, not far from Nellis Air Force Base, which is our Air Force Base um, here in town and gets quite a few um, exercises and military trainings here. So it's, a, it's a, uh, uh, one again, one of the largest Air Force bases in the country. Um, but the 215 Beltway starts right here, comes all the way north over here and down down the west side um, through Summerlin, um, Summerlin South, down in the Southwest, um, and then we'll come down into Henderson um, over here in the south uh, um, east part of town and we'll end right there. So again, uh, you're not gonna take a, all stretch of this 215 depending on what part of town you're coming from, um, specifically Summerlin, Summerlin, you're not, usually not gonna go way too far up north um, unless you're visiting, um, again, friends or family up here. but. Uh, the next uh, freeway that I'm going to mention here is the 51595 that kind of intersects. So it starts right here and comes up on the east part of town, comes around through downtown Las Vegas and eventually turns into 95, which is right here. The 95 turns up north and uh, eventually if you take the 95 for about eight hours or so, we'll eventually hit Reno up north up here. Uh, next is the 15. If you're coming from LA, uh, you'll be traveling north on the 15 and you come through here, um, right past here. Eventually you'll hit the strip on the right hand side um, and then you'll go through downtown um, and then through North Las Vegas and all the way through uh, 15 will take you into Utah. So that's the, uh, the 15. 
Uh, and then the one free, uh, stretch of freeway, which is a newer one, our newest one of all of them, uh, would be the Summerlin Parkway. And this is the road that it's gonna really nice, cut you right through the middle of town uh, to get you if you need to get down to downtown Las Vegas, down to the strip here, I'll show you here in a second. But this freeway eventually connects right here to the 95. Um, so again, you don't have to come all the way up 15 up north or all the 15 all the way south if you don't need to, if you wanna get right in the middle of town you could uh, catch the Summerlin uh, Parkway. So right here is downtown uh, Las Vegas. Um, many people think that uh, La uh, uh, downtown is a huge metropolitan area. It's not. Uh, downtown is a very, very small, populous area. The Strip, which is located in correct corridor right in here, um, is actually not part of Las Vegas city limits. That's an actually a part of Clark County. Um, and so it's not uh, uh, Las Vegas city limits. Uh, that most people may not know that. Uh, but this is all uh, the unincorporated part and suburbs of, of Las Vegas, so over here. But downtown Las Vegas, again, sits right here. So uh, the, the, as far as bottlenecks and traffic goes, um, if you're used to Southern California, Northern California, you know, New York, other, uh, you know, Miami, other, other major um, cities that has really heavy traffic, um, you're going to be pleasantly surprised if, if you do end up moving here. Um, you know, the major part, we've got a spaghetti bowl um, uh, right in here. And uh, what we call spaghetti bowls where the 15, the 515 and the 95 all intersect. And so during, um, we call it quote unquote rush hour traffic, um, there is a little bit of bottleneck here, about a 15, 20, 30 minute delay, nothing too major. Um, again, those cities I just mentioned, you're used to hour, two hour, maybe plus. Uh, delays. Um, there is not nearly that here in the bottleneck here of the, of, of the um, spaghetti bowl. The other portion stretch, a portion of, of, of an area that you may want to avoid at times is this 15 uh, stretch right in here where it passes a strip. So from the 215 to the 95 to 515 interchange um, during evening time, uh, this can get, especially on weekends, can get really busy again be due to the uh, all the activity and all the visitors coming in from out of town on uh, the Las Vegas Strip. So uh, to avoid that, if you need to get to uh, the Strip into downtown, there's some great side streets that you could take from Summerlin over here. Uh, first is uh, Tropicana, which is right here. And then you've got uh, Flamingo um, right here. Um, you've got um, Spring, um, Val, uh, Spring, Spring Mountain right there. Uh, and then you also have uh, Charleston, which is the main street that can take you right here as well. So any parts of where you live in Summerlin over here, you can jump on uh, these streets. And yeah, it's got some, it's got some uh, um, lights, um, traffic lights, but not more than a 10, 15 minute drive to get you to the Strip or get you downtown Las Vegas from, from Summerlin, uh, utilizing these uh, side streets. Of course, if you're living up here in Northern, um, Summer, North Summerlin, you're going to get hop on the uh, Summerlin uh, Parkway to 95 as well. So um, that gives you a little bit overview of, of, of where Summerlin's at and some of the, the freeway and access points to, to get to uh, certain places uh, in downtown. But let's uh, let's go back and we're going to exit out of this real quick here. And we're going to focus in on the starting point. Let's, let's use downtown Summerlin as our starting point to some other venues and locations around town. Let me bring up my... Uh, places here and we're going to bring right around here all right so downtown Summerlin is located right over here and so um, the closest international and actually our only international airport here in Las Vegas is Harry Reid um, International Airport um, most may know uh, that airport by the former name which was McCarran International just recently changed a few months ago and so it's Harry Reid, and so the um, fastest way to get to Harry Reid um, is uh, hopping on the, the uh, 215 and taking this road down, right freeway right down here, like we talked about earlier, um, all the way down south, and there's an interchange in the airport right in here. It's a 15 to 20 mile drive, depending on what part of Summerlin you're coming from, a 25 minute drive max. Um, uh, to the airport, maybe, maybe sometimes closer to 15, 20 minutes if you're coming from Summerlin South. So very easy to get uh, back and forth to. And actually the airport too, for being a large airport, um, I've traveled through it many, many times. Again, it's um, uh, pretty easy to get in and out of. It's not um, like um, Los Angeles International. It's not like um, uh, in New York, you've got um, JFK, um, LaGuardia, I know some of those airports can be very difficult to get in and out of. Um, these airport here in Harry Reid is again, very easy uh, to get in and out of um, for the most part. 
So um, again, we have a couple other other small airports at Henderson Executive down south over here. Um, and there's also a North Las Vegas airport right actually up here as well. Um, but again, the, the airport that you'd be flying most of, commercial airport would be uh, Harry Reid. Um, all right, so let's talk about the shopping malls. Um, and there's a ton of shopping um, in and around um, Summerlin and Las Vegas. We'll st first start with uh, um, Summerlin first since that's uh, where uh, we are really focusing our time on. So downtown Summerlin, again, located right here, um, over 125 regional and branded retail shops, including Macy's, Dillard's, H&M, Lululemon, Nike, Nordstrom Rack, Sephora, Apple, the, the, the list goes on. There's some again, major retailers um, right in our backyard in downtown Summerlin. Uh, there's also 30 plus bars and restaurants, including Harlow Steakhouse and Bar. If you love steaks, Harlow is a, a phenomenal steakhouse. Um, you got Maggiano's Little Italy, you got Shake Shack, uh, you got Wolfgang Puck, and you also have Dave and Buster's. Uh, there's also a Regal movie theater in downtown Summerlin um, as well. Um, so again, if you want to catch the latest movie, that's a great place to watch it. You know, we uh, you, you want to check out our, our, our vlog that we uh, put together, um, some great um, uh, pictures and some great talking uh, additional points about downtown Summerlin. Also talks about some few points, talks to a few neighborhoods and shows you some of the um, different values of homes as well in Summerlin, which the, the median um, home price in, in Summerlin is $657,000. We, uh, we talk about that as well. So check out that vlog um, if you get a chance. Um, the other uh, uh, um, shopping center in, um, a popular shopping center in uh, Summerlin is Tavoli Village, which is located over here on the east part of uh, Summerlin. Uh, again, very unique um, shops and restaurants, not your big chain restaurants like downtown Summerlin, uh, but some really, really uh, unique restaurants, uh, outdoor shopping center, um, but it's a great, great little quaint village um, to, to, to take a look at as well when you're, uh, if and when you move to Summerlin. Uh, all right, so uh, a couple of the shopping malls around town. Uh, we have uh, the large shopping mall on the Strip uh, Fashion Show Mall. Um, it is um, uh, gonna have, obviously because of where it's located, gonna have a lot more tours and visitors. Um, so if you don't mind that, uh, there's some uh, great uh, anchor shops, uh, sh retail shops there. You got Neiman Marcus, you got Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, and again, you just got to take Spring Mountain down, down right down to the uh, um, uh, 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 mall and uh, you'll be there within a 15 minute drive max. Um, it's an indoor, indoor shopping mall as well. Um, we have two outlet malls uh, in here in town. Uh, you've got the North um, Premium Outlet Mall, the Las Vegas Premium Outlet Mall, 150 uh, retail shops, uh, also has a food court as well. It's an outdoor shopping mall. So keep that in mind in, in the summer uh, time where it can get uh, uh, pretty hot here. Um, um, but again, some great, great, great um, bargains you can have at the, at the North Outlet Mall. Uh, our South Outlet Mall is down here at the, at the uh, lower end of the strip, south end of the strip. And again, uh, close to 150 out, uh, outlet shops there as well. Uh, and this is an indoor shopping mall. Uh, so again, um, uh, um, you can pick and choose if you like the outdoor indoor scene. Um, you got, again, some great, great um, variety of shops to, to choose from. Um, right uh, uh, just a little north of uh, um, the South Outlet Mall is Town Square. Town Square is a mixed use. Uh, it's got commercial, it's got um, retail shops. I believe there's over 130 retail shops and restaurants. It's an outdoor mall as well. Great place for a number of locals, but you also because of its proximity to the strip um, here, uh, uh, very close to the airport too. Um, it uh, um, will have a, lot, a number of visitors and tourists from out of town as well, similar to uh, fashion show. But again, easy access to off of the 215 right here with the 215 and 15 meet. Um, again, 10, 15 minute drive from Summerlin, um, another great mall. Uh, last but not least, we have in Henderson, we have your more of your traditional mall is the Galleria at Sunset. And that is over here on the uh, Henderson side. Again, it's about a, depending what part of someone you're coming from, 25 minute, 30 minute drive max um, to the Gallery at Sunset, uh, multi-level, two-story uh, mall, um, all indoors. So um, like I said, there is no shortage of shopping in and around uh, Summerlin and the Las Vegas Valley. So. Um, I hope that gives you a good recap of, of shopping malls. And we're gonna transition out to our sports venues, which has just really exploded on the scene over the last uh, handful of years. 
um, uh, as we continue to gain a few professional sports teams and there's even rumors of more coming. So um, I wanna take you through. The first one is the Las Vegas Ballpark actually in downtown Summerlin. And that is located right here. Um, get off uh, here. And the, the uh, uh, Las Vegas Ballpark Keeps going. There we go. Uh, Las Vegas Ballpark is the home to the Las Vegas Aviators, which is a AAA minor league baseball team. You can see the picture there. Actually, has a swimming pool and right center field. Really cool venue. Uh, it's only a couple of years old, um, and that place is almost packed out every night um, when during during baseball season, uh, which is spring and, and summertime um, here. And so that's uh, again our our AAA baseball team. Right next door, or literally right next door, is the uh, City National Arena, which is the headquarters. Uh, to the Vegas Golden Knights, which is our NHL franchise. Um, and the reason why I bring this facility up is because during the season, uh, the team, which is fall into wintertime and early, or spring, uh, the team actually allows, um, at times, um, open to the public practices. So you can come in and actually watch the team practice, get really up and close and personal with the players, which is a really cool experience. Um, and so when there's not practice, um, there's actually two ice rinks there in the facility. And, uh, certain days of the week um, it's open to the public to uh, to ice skate they also have ice skating lessons there's also some leagues as well so it's actually a great um, great venue to go ice skating at so um, that is a city national arena uh, next we have allegiant stadium now allegiant stadium is uh, just a, one of our newest stadiums just built in the last couple of years uh, it is right located right over oh, right over here uh, it is home to the Las Vegas Raiders uh, NFL football team. Uh, it is also going to be home to the Super Bowl here in a couple of years. Uh, UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, uh, it hosts uh, four or five, uh, excuse me, will host, uh, um, I'm sorry, UFC goes to T-Mobile Arena, it's not UFC, but there's actually a number of concerts um, at Allegiant Stadium as well. Um, we'll pack that place out too. So as a 65,000 seat um, stadium, there's only 6,500 parking spaces at uh, Allegiant Stadium. So there is a number of um, off-site close by and then also a number of the strip hotels as well, well for parking and shuttle services to the stadium. So it is, uh, uh, there's not a lot of the on-site parking. So you have to plan ahead and plan your uh, parking out there when it comes to Allegiant Stadium. T-Mobile Arena um, is right up here. And that's actually where the um, um, Lot, uh, Vegas Gold Knights actually play their home games at. So City National Arena is their practice facility headquarters and T-Mobile Arena is the actual where they play their games. And UFC, um, Ultimate Fighting Championship, that's where they host uh, four to five big fights every year at this arena, along with a number of concerts as well. That arena is one of the busiest arenas in the country. And again, so if you get easy to get access to both Allegiant and uh, T-Mobile, um, you can take Desert in right here all the way across, and you can then hit Dean Martin, which will take you right down to T-Mobile Arena, um, or you can come down uh, for Allegiant to 215, and you can do the 15 and get off of Russell, which will get you right to um, Allegiant Stadium. Um, all right, so that, those are a little recap of the, of the, um, of the sports venues. Take you back over here, and I want to take you to the uh, three resorts that we have here in Summerlin. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit further here. And um, the first one, again, right in downtown Summerlin, is Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa. Um, it is owned and managed by Station Casinos, which uh, um, has 17 other properties in and around the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, here at Red Rock, there is bowling. Um, there is another movie theater on site. Um, obviously, a number of shops and restaurants too, along with a great casino right there at Red Rock. Uh, the next uh, uh, location is uh, the JW. I'm gonna actually just pan out just a little bit so you can see the JW sitting right here. Uh, sitting right here, a JW Resort and Spa. It's got a phenomenal spa. Um, to, to, if you need to unwind, great place to go for spa. Also has a, a attached uh, casino as well, the Rampart Casino right next to it um, as well. Uh, and then we've got uh, Suncoast um, Hotel and Casino, which is located right here. So, you know, these properties are a great place for a staycation if you don't want to go very far out of town. Great place to, you know, it's a, either, either a couple minute drive from your house or a five, 10 minute drive from your house to these uh, properties. Uh, so you don't have to leave the immediate area to enjoy the, the true Las Vegas experience um, and don't have to venture on, on the Las Vegas Strip if you don't want to. Um, another uh, great venue is the Summerlin uh, Library, which is located right over here. 
uh, and the Summerlin Library uh, Performing Arts Center features, a, it's a community theater. It hosts many uh, community events ranging from music to theatrical performances, to dance productions, pageants and lectures. You know, this venue is so popular, it's booked more than a year out. So if uh, more arts and cultures are, it, 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 uh, is something that you're interested in, again, the Summerlin Library and Performing Arts Center is a great venue uh, to go visit. Um, you know, Summerlin is also host, home to more than two dozen schools, including 11 nationally recognized private schools and 14 public schools with excellent ratings. You know, the public schools, uh, public schools are part of the Clark County School District. And I just wanted to point a few um, of the uh, top rated schools um, in the Valley here. The first one is the elementary school down here in Summerlin South is uh, Goolsby Elementary is located right here. Uh, again, phenomenal school in Summerlin South. And then you've got over here, you've got, um, find it if I can, um, Faith Lutheran Middle School and High School. Um, great school, again, very high rate. That's a private school uh, located right there. And then you've got over here, you've got uh, John Bonner Elementary School. Um, again, that are very highly rated. The majority of all the schools in Summerlin are, again, excellent rated schools, but those are three that I wanted um, to point out. Um, I mentioned in the vlog as well, if you had a chance to watch that, uh, the 250 parks uh, that are surrounded and intertwined through all of all of Summerlin. Um, and there are, are all kinds of parks and size shapes. Um, two of the larger parks um, is Fox Hill Park located right here um, up in Summerlin West. And then down you've got over here, you've got um, Mesa Park, which is again another great park in Summerlin South. Um, that has baseball fields, basketball courts, tennis courts, you name it. Um, these parks have a number of different um, activities um, for all ages to enjoy. Um, another area I want to point out, very, very popular area, um, is Red Rock Canyon. So before I get to Red Rock Canyon, all this area you see this gray develop here is all the undeveloped area within uh, uh, Summerlin. So Summerlin's about two thirds of the way built out. It gets started in 1990. Um, the Howard Hughes Corporation founded and started building it. And to this day, Howard Hughes Corporation is still a major part of uh, building and owning in, in, in Summerlin. But this all the uh, area will continue to be developed as we speak. Um, and so uh, homes continue, new homes continue to be built in this area. But Red Rock uh, um, Canyon is uh, again, just west of Summerlin. It, it attracts outdoor enthusiasts. It's a phenomenal place to bike, to picnic, to even enjoy a horseback riding. Um, there are some incredible world-class rock climbing um, in, in and around Red Rock Canyon as well. Um, or you can simply, if you don't want to you know, venture out and, and get on foot or on your bike, um, you can stay in your car and drive a 13 mile loop. Um, it has some phenomenal scenic views of um, the canyon and also of the entire Las Vegas Valley. So um, Red Rock Canyon is a, definitely a, a place that you got to go um, if you are uh, moving here to uh, Summerlin or any part of Las Vegas for that matter. Summerlin is also home to 10 pristine community golf uh, courses for all ages and skill level. It's also a home to, own, to the only two um, TPC golf courses on the whole state of Nevada. You got a TPC Las Vegas right here, and then you got TPC Summerlin right here. So they're close together, but two phenomenal golf courses. Um, you also have a, a Jack Nicholas design, a golf course down here in Summerlin South called Bears Best. It's actually, um, each hole is one of his designer holes on uh, his most popular courses in, in the world. So it's a, again, a phenomenal golf course. So if you love the golf, there's no shortage of golf courses um, in Summerlin. Uh, so again, I hope that gives you a good, um, good understanding of the proximities of how to get around Summerlin and, and where to some other major um, uh, hotspots are in Las Vegas. Um, you know, please like and share this video. Please subscribe below um, and comment if you have any questions or found this video helpful. And whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. You know, we are passionate about helping people make a smooth and stress-free move to Summerlin in Las Vegas. And I actually have another video coming up here shortly that you can take a look at with the pros and cons of Summerlin. So check that video out as well. Um, but until next time, we hope to see you around town.